Hello everyone, today I'll be discussing about the Patent Agent exam which is going to happen in the month of June right now in India. So the very important factor for the aspiring candidates who want to enter this beautiful field of intellectual property rights. So I'll be uh, doing some series online and obviously I am uh, now planning to do um, online classes. Um, so kindly just uh, get into the whole uh, zone of uh, studying intellectual property uh, law with a difference. So the very important fact for anyone who is appearing for this exam um, needs to understand very basic points. This is going to be a Bible for uh, your exam and this is known as the Bear Act. So this is going to be your Bible now on and this is the Patent Act 1970 which is the Bear Act. You need to have this bear act with you even before you buy or uh, study any other material because once you become a registered PA, you are going to need this Bible on and off. So I'll be sharing a few of the tips uh, how to read this uh, bear act. On the cover page itself, you would see the patent rules. Um, then you have the applet board and the appeals and the important notifications. Coming back to how to go through any book and especially when preparing for the uh, patent agent examination because uh, time is of essence right now because many of you might be working in some field and you want to enter into intellectual property rights. So the easiest way is to read the highlights of the chapters so that you are acquainted with what chapter deals with uh, what process. The best practice of um, understanding the Indian patent law is that uh, inventions which are not patentable. Section 3 is the most important section and the whole, um, I would say, uh, the prosecution part before the Indian Patent Office depends upon how as a patent agent you are able to overcome the um, inquiries which are asked by the patent examiner and especially section 3. So um, if uh, asked about what kind of questions you can expect in paper 1, um, I would say anything from section 3 can pop up and uh, especially uh, section 3 has to be read as a whole uh, with examples and uh, then you are uh, on the right track. So if we talk about the chapters right now, starting with the chapters is definitely the section three and then it's in the uh, order. The order is perfect in terms of how it has been um, disclosed in the or how it has been written in the uh, Bear Act. Second most important thing is um, if you're not a, a law student and still you are entering into intellectual property rights for the very first time, uh, I can understand and I can comprehend with your situation because for me also at that point of time I was a master's student in biotechnology and I appeared for this exam without having any law background. So uh, do not worry if you don't have a law background then you are in the process of learning for the very first time law. Uh, law in my words is language of actuating wisdom. I think uh, law is all about understanding and uh, correlating it uh, with the right sections and uh, a number of sections read with the rules gives you a solution to you and your clients uh, whom you are presenting before the Indian Patent Office. So uh, five years down the lane you can see yourself as a strategist in intellectual property rights. So what is very important here is when you're reading it for the very first time just go through uh, just go through the uh, bear act in terms of the sections and the rules that is rule number one uh, then what is very important to start your uh, journey to understand um, how uh, you would be able to clear the uh, patent agent exam is um, going through the first schedule and uh, the second schedule which talks about the forms currently uh, this content is on the page nine and uh, the fee schedule is very, very important and few questions you can expect is in the fee schedule itself. Uh, what will be the fee schedule for a startup or a legal entity or an individual? So the best way to read the sections is um, first, as I said and I suggested, 
uh, go through the definitions of the chapters first so that you understand what you are getting into second is to understand um, the second schedule the forms and the best part of the forms is all the forms if i talk about form one that uh, relates to or that is for application for a grant of patent application um, form two is for provisional and complete specification i'll just go to the form page number 150 Voila. So this is generally the format of the form and what you need to understand and remember and memorize is uh, this aspect which talks about the patent form, the Patent Act 1970, 39 of 1970, read with sections and rules. So what happens is uh, once you understand and if you make your notes like form 1 relates to uh, section 7, 54 and 135 read with rule and this is basically um, sub rule 1 of rule 20. So this is what you need to learn and then definitely uh, in my coming videos uh, which are some would be uh, obviously I'll be uh, sharing with the masses which would be free and the other would be the paid ones which would be discussing about uh, all of the pointers which are very very important to um, memorize uh, the forms in the right way. So the best way is to go through the forms form 1, form 2, form three and five and the miscellaneous one is the form 30 so there's a lot of uh, forms uh, where uh, there's no fee involved and in some forms a fee is involved so i think um, this is this is the basis of uh, even understanding what patent act is all about if you have any questions related to this put your questions in the comment box uh, do enroll for the offline and the online courses i think um, in the current scheme of things uh, the online thing will work better so we are planning to organize our online classes very soon uh, just register for the same and uh, happy to e-meet you and discuss uh, your inquiries related to clearing the patent agent exam 2020s so have a techno legal background uh, it will be easy for them to understand the um, app and the rules if you aspire to be an indian patent agent uh, i think um, First and foremost, you need to understand this This field requires a lot of research and a lot of online research uh, will go into the whole uh, you know, process once you become a PA. And um, you can look at the different positions and where you position your own self five years from now. So all the best to all the aspiring candidates and I look forward to answer inquiries. Put your questions in the comment box below. Look forward to e-meet you in coming days. All the best. Stay safe.